waiting, waiting for it to go. I always wait for it to start. I don't know if I need to or if it starts the second, you know, I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah. We uh, should do some A-B yeah, testing. We're good. We should. We should. <laughs> Hi. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to, uh, you know, next level from Level with Emily. I'm Emily. That other person is Sam Keenan. He produces the show. Say hi, Sam. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, so normally we try to do this at three o'clock central on Wednesdays. Sometimes our work schedules get in the way, which happened today. So apologies for a little bit of a late start. But nonetheless, we are excited to talk to you in just a moment about uh, 8-bit composer Thomas Cipollone, which I have had just such a, a gleeful time getting to know him over the past couple months, really, for various reasons. But uh, but yeah, Sam, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I think uh, Cipollone should be Cipollone. I wonder if anyone calls him that. <laughs> <laughs> I never even thought of that. I wonder if he's thought of that. Oh, my God. On Bandcamp, he's Human Thomas. And I meant to ask okay. him, you know why he chose that name, but Cipollone is pretty good. <laughs> Cipollone. <laughs> is it is spelled with a C. Uh, yeah, no, that's great. Um, cool. Well, let's just go ahead and talk about it. Uh, I met him through a project that uh, we were on together that hopefully we'll be publishing in January, maybe not till February, but we were on a project with a uh, um, games journalist named Brian Vore. Brian used to be at Game Informer and now he freelances. And we got a chance to do a really cool project that I don't want to spoil, but that is how I met Thomas Cipollone. And I ended up listening to some of his music. And then I was like, oh, I need to have you on the show because I love his A-Pit music. And he writes it in like four NES cartridges. So it's not like he's not cheating here. Right. What did you think? Uh, I thought it was really fantastic. Yeah. Loved it. I, I, uh, <laughs> I loved his music. I love, I love chiptune music. I love sure. stuff and mm -hmm. I grew up on that stuff and I loved it when I was a kid. And, um, but I just frankly want to find where he is and play with his toys. <laughs> Pittsburgh is where he is, and he's also okay. a radio guy, which is funny. He's uh he's an audio engineer. So Yeah, um, yeah. I I yeah. I'm I'm sure he and I could chew the fat. Yes, you could. <laughs> but he's he's got a real uh wonderful style with his with his mm -hmm. uh chiptune stuff. He's really good at it. And you know, a lot of people have done that kind of music over the years, and um it can really sound samey. But he's got yeah. he's he's got a good mastery of of how how it works and and uh, you know the legacy of the old kind of Nintendo tune music yep. and stuff and it's it's all there which is super yeah. cool yeah and one of the things that I kept bringing up to him over and over again uh, and probably will every time I talk about him is how much I enjoy the textures that he created mm -hmm. within those um, restrictions and I just felt like. It, it made it sound new and it uh, made it just fun, more, more interesting, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yep. And mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's, it's a really good uh, demonstration of what somebody can do with limitations, you know, right. it's, there's right. very, very many limitations when you work in that medium mm -hmm. and he's, and he, you know, manages to pull it all out to all the good stuff. Yeah. You know, and the yeah. just the the like you said, textures, but the more specifically like the way he layers low end stuff when us when a tune needs that and the and yeah. the rhythms are really great. And mm -hmm. um he talks about some tricks he uses, like um using notes with uh lower volume to make delays right. and yeah. stuff like that. And uh and that stuff sounds really cool and yeah. um it's it's really good. It's I mean the music is good too. I'd be I'd be interesting to hear it produced up with you know some kind of regular instrumentation too. I'd I'd be curious oh. to hear what that sounded like. But but yep. uh, but yeah, it's good. Really cool. Really cool. Yeah, and just really creative. Um, 
ideas, like you're saying, like kind of creating reverb on those channels, mm-hmm. which otherwise can't be can't be done on on a Nintendo. Um, it makes sense that that, that he's an audio engineer. Yeah. That makes sense to me because yep. yeah, because those those tricks are good. And and he also talked about you know which shows in the music too how he doesn't like going four bars without something changing and having mm-hmm. like loops get boring or or repetitive and stuff like that and yeah. and that the music is really rich that way you mm-hmm, know mm-hmm. and, and yeah. it keeps it keeps your your mind engaged if you're paying attention to it it keeps you engaged and 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 yeah. uh, interested musically you know yeah yeah yeah, so we're talking about Thomas Cipollone. He's the um, subject of this week's episode of Level, which we'll publish on Friday. Uh, and um, the games that he and I talked about, there were four of them. Uh, we mm-hmm. talked about Garbage Pail Kids, Mad Mike, and the Quest for Stale Gum, which was a Garbage Pail Kids like license. They like got permission from Tops to write this to make this game, which I thought was really cool. Yeah. Uh, and then we talk about a game jam game he did that I loved the music for called Beyond the Pins, which is a little game jam bowling game. And we talked about a game that's not out quite yet called uh, Unicorn. Now that game, he did have an extra channel of sound to work with and you can mm-hmm. hear it in the music. You know, it's a right. little bit fuller, a little bit richer. Um, and then we talked about Full Quiet, which is a game that came out also, I think, at the end of 2022, just a, a few months ago, or maybe sometime in 2022. I can't exactly remember, but Full Quiet is like, a... oh, wait, 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 that's right. It's not out yet. Full Quiet is not out yet, but it will okay. be soon. What they're working on trying to do is this is like an online Nintendo game it, he, that that has like a Wi-Fi chip in the cartridge itself, which is crazy to me. So, so that game, that's... He he got permission to release the music, even though the game isn't quite out yet. But that's mm-hmm. uh, that's those are the things that we talked about. So four different projects from Thomas, and you know, as is the case with eight bit soundtracks that are made for cartridges, they're pretty short soundtracks because there's not a lot of space for the music. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Yeah, it's really fun, and mm-hmm. and uh, I I won't uh, give away. Um, the secret but he 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 employed some pretty creative um sound sourcing for uh (laughs) that garbage pail kids tune (laughs) you should listen to the episode to find out dude that killed me never have i ever interviewed somebody who did something like that so i mean the first for that i know yeah well yeah i mean i've heard of things uh like that oh for sure you know in music before but we won't yeah yeah, you know, it's worth it's worth belabor it because we're not we're not saying what we're talking about, but I know, yeah, that makes it <laughs> annoying, but yeah, it's fun. So yeah, Thomas Cipollone coming up this Friday. And also I love that it's eight bit because so often, you know, we're not we're not uh really dabbling, s- stepping our toe into those waters, you know, that doesn't happen very often on level. So it's fun yeah. to have that. Yeah, that that's true. Yeah, that that is also fun. Yep, it's mm-hmm. it's uh it's you know back to serious old school. Yep. Stuff. Yep. Even Super though it cool. Was made today it sounds like yesterday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's it's cool. uh I I would say that the the uh, the thing that that tips off that it's modern um compared to that old stuff is just mm-hmm. really just excellent rhythm and. Um, more like complicated and a little bit more modern, like uh, grooves and and arrangements and things mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, but it's but it's all done in that. In I mean, it could it easily could have been, you know, on a old Nintendo soundtrack. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. He's writing them for cartridges, so that's the whole yeah. point. Yeah, it's really incredible, really great work. And I I love too that he um, for some of the games contributes art as well. So he's you know, he's just a really creative fella. And um, mm-hmm. yeah, Pittsburgh also has a band that he's in called Grand Piano and yep. kind of like sax rock. And so I encourage folks to check that out too on Bandcamp, Grand Piano from Pittsburgh. I don't know what it would be like to search that on Bandcamp, but um, how good their search engine would <laughs> respond to that uh yeah. request of grand piano but uh i recommend well, you, th- you threw in a track of theirs on the on, on the did. episode too yeah yep. so i did yeah. yeah and that track honestly all their their tracks uh cover a wide variety of styles so 
you know, don't think that if you hear the track I put in the episode that that's what the band sounds like. That's what the band sounds like sometimes. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, check out the episode Friday. Um, join us on Discord. That uh, link is down in the show notes. And find us anytime at levelwithemily.com. You can support us financially on Patreon, patreon.com slash level. That would be fantastic. But uh, do you have any closing thoughts, Sam Kanan? Uh, I don't think so. I don't okay. think so, except for Happy New Year to everybody. Right. And, Happy and, New Year. Uh, you know, we're, we're starting off with a bang. 2023, here we go. 2023, here we go. Buried under 19 feet of snow. Yep. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yep. All right, Sam. All right, everybody. We'll see you next week. Peace. Oh, son of a... Okay.